a dog and its owner going for a leisurely walk. But what makes this walk different is that Gary Jackson and his Labrador Asia aren't just passing time. They're working. Asia has been set a very specific task to track down a scent rising from this one acre field. Such a minute amount of scent that you or I wouldn't be able to detect it. Scent of a dead human body buried deep beneath the ground. Gary Jackson and the day we visited the dogs, we put them to the test in a one acre field to bury a quarter of a milliliter of pseudo scent the day before. When Asia was brought in, we'd all been walking around the field continuously, so it would have been easy to confuse her by the different human scents present. However, once Gary released her and the command find was given, she set to work. Asia bounded through the grass, hit the scent cone in just seconds. One of the most remarkable... In a recent search, there was 360 man hours uh, went into looking for a homicide victim's arm. The next day, um, the cadaver dogs were put in. The, the radical plan involves bringing in canines from Queensland. The so-called cadaver dogs have been trained in the detection of bodies. In Queensland, the dogs have already been used to find the bodies of a murder victim and a drowned child. The bloodhounds and Labradors are trained privately in that state. Now, some of them are expected to be flown to South Australia next month to help local detectives. Police sources say the dogs are a recognised form of investigation. Fine, yeah. Fine, Asia, fine. Their skills as sniffer dogs are developed to a stage where they can detect scent emitted by phosphorus from bones. And that gives them the skill to find buried or hidden bodies up to 100 years old or more, depending on the conditions. The number of investigations in which the dogs will be used is yet to be finalised. But there's several cases in this state in which the victims' bodies have yet to be found. It's likely the dogs will be used to investigate the murder of Peter Livingston, whose limbs were found in garbage banks at Hallett Cove on March 19. And in the Riverland search for Colin Brown, who disappeared after a party at Renmark on October 10, 1991. But they may also be put to the test in the case of missing schoolgirl Rihanna Barrow, and possibly the suspected murder in Cooper Pedy of Italian tourist Anna Lever. South Australia's dog squad is also keen to assess the animal's performance, but there's no immediate plans for our police to get full-time cadaver dogs of their own. David Kellett, National 9 News. Uga 22. Bisher wurden diese Meldungen von der Polizei nicht bestätigt. Die Spürhunde im Eukalyptuswald müssen vorerst weiterarbeiten. The chance of catching whoever's done this. Oh, by all means. Uh, the police have a lot of faith in these two dogs. It was uh, just coincidence that they didn't find these last lot of bodies. It was the men that found it. But the dogs hadn't searched those areas. Now the dogs will be put into new areas where they should, uh, if there's something there, find it.